So, I was rejected from SpaceX. They offered no concrete explanation for the decision, instead suggesting to apply again in the future. That's not how I operate. Their loss is bigger than they realize, and I'll prove it to them in other ways. About SpaceX's interview process, it felt less like a true test of skill and more like a missed opportunity for them. The questions were basic, the test unimpressive, and their evaluators struggled with simple concepts. It's shocking to realize that the people who are meant to build the dream of Mars colonization can't read a torque wrench or craft a functional manual. As for Elon Musk, I respect his ambition, but question how much of it is built on true mastery. His companies succeed because of his talented people working for him, not because he's an expert in every field. For example, reusable rockets are impressive, but they're built on decades of work by others. When it comes to Mars, SpaceX is chasing a dream that's not realistic with their current technology. Chemical rockets can't take us far enough, and we need breakthroughs like ion thruster powered by nuclear systems, which NASA explored, but they couldn't perfect because of their complexity. By not hiring me, SpaceX didn't just miss out on a skilled worker. They passed on someone who could have helped them achieve their most ambitious goals. For those who think SpaceX is out of reach, let me tell you this. It's not about being perfect. It's about pushing yourself to learn and grow. If you do, nothing, not even the stars, is beyond your reach.